I've been living here in Kalamunda for about eight years or so, and if you've been following the TV shows through that period of time, you'll see the garden's been evolving. Bit by bit, it's starting to head into the sort of direction that I really want it to be, and I thought I'd show you around. The highlights for me are the pool area with a resort style layout for those amazing calm nights us hillbillies enjoy outdoors, entertaining or relaxing. The pool gets a serious workout and the area uses black water to sustain the very low maintenance plants that we feature around it. The dogs have learnt to swim here and they're doing it pretty well. The top area of my garden is all about food production. Chickens, aquaponics, fruit, vegetables and herbs all supply the kitchen and no one leaves without an armful of fresh produce. It's tranquil and delicious all at the same time. <laughs> now my garden's growing a lot. In fact, it's starting to grow beyond my boundaries. My neighbour Peter's got a whole heap of land out here and I said, look, I really need a bright sunny spot because I want to grow berries, boysenberries, raspberries, gooseberries. They all do incredibly well here, but they need a bright sunny spot perfect location, bring in a bit of soil, a bit of water, and we're going to share in a huge berry crop. I'm pretty excited about it. In the first year, they'll all get planted out this weekend and they'll start growing beautifully. Next year, we'll start harvesting. And in the meantime, I get to grow some pumpkins as well. Brilliant. The biggest change, though, is what's happening at the front of my garden. We have a creek that flows through and down into Orange Valley. Now I've cleaned a lot of weedy invaders out and planted the foundation plants I want, but it's almost time to start the intensive planting. But first, there's a pathway to go in. Now the path here is sloping, so we've had to step it down as it goes. Now, the great thing about this is it'll develop this wonderful profile as you walk up the garden path and give you this real sense of elevation. It's going to be terrific. It weaves all its way down to the creek where we're gonna put a deck in along the edge of the actual creek garden bed and right around the outside edge of the pond. It'll allow me to put a whole bunch of plants that are what we call marginal plants and they clear excess nutrients around. They provide a wonderful habitat for frogs and ducks and birds. Even though we live in the hills, we too have sandy soil. So I'll be adding soil solver, which is a clay, silt and rock mineral product into the sandy soils here to improve water retention in the soil. Now the growth results for this kind of soil improvement are amazing. Add it with a thick layer of mulch over the top to reduce evaporation, now there's a huge benefit. Another area that's very important is the irrigation. The lawn needs a different watering regime to the garden beds. So there's two different stations allowing them to be programmed and watered at different times and amounts. Now I know it's gonna take a little bit of imagination to see what this is going to turn into but during the summer months we're going to do all the infrastructure stuff and that's of course the best time to do it because you don't want to be planting then you want to plant in the autumn that's when we'll be putting all the plants in around the outside and it should look absolutely sensational but i'll share the progress with you as we go along <laughs> 